Hello, welcome back to Game of Thrones. So let's have a look at this map. Oh, there's a, a mammoth. What? I didn't know there were mammoths in Game of Thrones. This is new. Okay, this is the uh, the where we isn't that where I went a minute ago? I used to be frightened of where with trees, but before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's what he just said, didn't he? Okay. Castle ruins. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Alright, let's just read what this Bloody says. The ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. An ice dragon. Does it say that? The North Grove beneath the watchful eye of the ice dragon. Okay. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder. I didn't even notice. Huh. <laughs> okay. Look, there's a clasp. It must open. Um, okay, then open it. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Okay, then, how do I? Supposed to place this on here? No? Okay then. Here we go. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. How is it telling us where to look? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, let's put it down here. <laughs> no. Alright, let's pick it up. I don't see how it matches anything. Ah, yes, there we go. Oh, the branches are matching up. It's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear. May well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Gary. <laughs> I find it funny how I've just chosen to ignore the vows that I just made with the Night's I don't Watch. Know. They're probably like little little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly a Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on.
Right, so we're going to the top of the wall, okay. Or are we changing character? It's taking a while to load. Right, I think we're probably changing character. Yeah, we are. Here we go. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. <laughs> His face. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. Yeah, I should probably speak to him. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? Ooh, what is it? Whacked my desk. If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they dance. <laughs> okay. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. 
Joffrey. I assume you have no problems with the reins of Castamere. Oh no, not I Joffrey. I trust you've chosen all the standards. <laughs> but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh, If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Oh dear. She found out. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? Oh. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? I wasn't trying to. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. It's probably for the best, actually. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Well, damn it. I can't talk to Tyrion anymore. That's a shame. <laughs> God, what on earth is going on? Oh, right. Here we go. Roderick. Still looks like a zombie. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. Oh no, he's gone to the wall, hasn't he? Or is that the um the army officer? Oh no. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <gasps> oh no. Now, get out of my sight. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. 
swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove me? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. If I allow you in my hall, will that secure the peace? I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this. No, I'm going to stop him. You can't go in there. I don't care if I die. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. This is not going well. Oh dear. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth form. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in. That's clearly what he wants. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls, and Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack. So don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Oh 
dear, okay. Expel Griff. We'll save Ryan. Oh, I don't know. I can't even remember who Ryan is, to be perfectly honest. I guess I should try and save Ryan because we all seem we all seem to be dying at the moment. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor, at the Twins. Unfortunately... Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. We press on. It's no use waiting. We have a plan, my lord. But we must wait for the pieces to come together. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. Okay, then. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Well, before I make that decision, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.